It's weird. The refrigerator's got to get emptied. Everything's got to get emptied. Everything in here's got to get emptied. <laughs> Roadblock. It's actually quite a major operation. So it's pretty intense. The flowers are rest in peace. Go she then. needs to go on a diet. Me meaning, and me and the camper. Okay, not, not mom. We need, okay. to, we need to get. Some, well, when you unload <laughs> everything, there's a viewing port. There's a viewing port. Look how beautiful they are. Somewhat spacious. Anybody in the house right now is like, oh yeah, that looks really spacious. Last, um, on our way down to NASCAR, yep. um, we had just so, so much fun. Much fun. So I mean, much fun. Just the backing up to the track. We had so much fun. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you didn't see that yet, um, we'll link to that, so check that out. We got to reconnect with Mark and Trish and the boys from KYD, which was awesome. And we just met so many new people and friends. It was, it was amazing. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Right now we are headed to Elkhart. We have some work and some maintenance that needs to get done to the RV. So we're gonna go meet up with Lippert and Grand Design while we're up here. So we were going there anyways. This is all part of the plan. What made this trip a little bit more difficult and it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming is when we tore the floor in Idaho. So, I'm so, so sad, you guys. Like, so, so sad. We don't know exactly what our options are, so we're gonna we're gonna go check with them probably on Monday yeah. uh, to see what our options are for that, and just to see what the best way to move forward with that is first. And the process, because our house is filled with all of our stuff. Yeah, so there's gonna be no matter what. I'm pretty sure we're out of the RV um, for a week, maybe two maybe weeks. Two. They're saying, right. um, and going to a hotel. So we're gonna miss the house. I know for sure. <laughs> So we're on our way to Grand Design first, um, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Lippert. Lippert's gonna just do a couple tweaks on their on their stuff, and then we're heading back to Grand Design to figure out what we're doing with the floor. So I hope you can hear us. This it's is a loud, this is like a loud highway, but we're gonna be at Grand Design in their campground here in the next half an hour or so. And also, thank you so much to everybody who has sent messages checking in on Lily. She is doing fantastic. Um, we do think that it was heat related and like you're waving to everybody. I am alive. She's alive. <laughs> um, we think it was heat related and the altitude and all that kind of stuff. So uh, thank you to everyone who asked and uh, we will see you guys when we get to Grand Design. Okay, so we made it here to Grand Design, and we've been here a couple days. We went and visited our friends at Lippert. Yeah. Oh, Ona's here, that's the surprise. <laughs> Look at her. Awesome. All right, guys, we are at Spalding Lake today. One of our most favorite parts about working with Lippert is their ability to reach out to the community around them in Indiana and then you know in other events as we've been traveling it has yeah. just been so awesome so when we found out that they were doing a campground cleanup this morning we jumped in so uh, you guys know that we love giving back to communities whenever we can on the road and Lipper just provides awesome opportunities every time we're they here do, to do because that sometimes that's the hard part I know a lot of people like to help but they just don't know where to help and they set up so many things so it makes it a little easier uh, and we're actually working with with them to to make something that is more national yes um, to find volunteers for all of you guys so on the road stay tuned to that let's go help out this is how Lily's gonna dry the slide <laughs> I feel like you're gonna go so <laughs> how's your butt that was awesome Lily. <laughs> get 
Get that slide dry. Something satisfying about silver paint. Oh, it's like so satisfying. I was just saying, I don't think I've ever painted anything with metallic paint before. I usually like, spray paint metallic. That's true, that's why. You can do it! Yay! <laughs> So we have the skinny of what's got to go down here. Um, it's actually quite a major operation. So it's pretty intense. We have to actually put our stuff in storage because they have to replace the whole floor. So we Welcome gotta to our, uh, our disaster. We, here. <laughs> we get a storage unit. So we're just going to drive this thing right up and just unload stuff, pick the stuff that we need to bring with us to, to the, the hotel, hotel room. For two weeks. It's going to be an interesting couple weeks, but yeah, I but yeah, I think there's a plan. But there you, definitely you is a look plan. Look at this in here, though. <laughs> so, because they're replacing the floor, we needed to empty out everything that was on the lower end of the cabinet. So we just wanted as much out as possible. This is gonna come out. The couch is gonna come out. The refrigerator's <laughs> gotta get emptied. Everything's gotta get emptied. Everything in here's gotta get emptied. <laughs> Guys, I know you're totally jealous of how much fun we're having it's, right now in the It's RV. gonna be interesting, and I know in a few, out, probably an hour or so when this is, is uh, getting unloaded, it is gonna feel very strange in here in an empty RV. Like, like totally empty. We've seen what it's looked like without certain pieces, but I don't know if we've ever seen what it looks like with no couch, no dinette, no nothing. It's gonna be strange. Uh, so that's our next move. We need to- Get to the storage Dump unit. this stuff. Hopefully this never happens to you, but if, if it does-, it does they can patch floors as well, but right. ours I think is too big and they no longer carry this this vinyl. So that is our- I think that's the biggest issue right now. Yeah. Yeah. So we're I think I would probably, even with how big it is, I think I would go that direction if they actually had the vinyl, but they don't. So- So we're, we're going with what we're our in, options uh, are. We're in gut mode. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to figure out how to like, organize what we've packed so far so the slide can come in and we can drive the RV there. Good news though, we have a 10 by 30 storage unit so I think <laughs> we can <laughs> think fit we everything room. in there. It was literally one of the last ones in the area. We were driving Not into- literally, it was it the last was one. It was the last one in this entire area because there's like all kinds of stuff going on right now, I guess. There's fairs happening, people are Who moving. Knows? I don't know. Who it's knows? crazy, but people store we got too much it. crap, is what it comes down to. I don't think it has anything to do with any of that that she just said. I think people just store crap. <laughs> I think that's true. Anyways, he called us and said, Hey, I've got 10 by 30. Is that enough space? We should do. I think it's going to look. I don't know if we're going to be surprised with how much stuff we have. It'll be interesting. We're, it's not like we're packing it like a storage unit, though. Like, we literally are just like going to throw everything. We're going to throw everything. <laughs> throw everything but not actually everything we're going to keep stuff in upper cabinets yeah um just just because you don't need to move it but we're going to move the things that we think might get either dirty so that's something to think about if, if because our moving cabinets. so they're taking our slide out so for two weeks this slide's going to be out this whole in interior is going to yeah. be exposed um so it, there's a lot of dust and stuff that can come right. in here. So we want to get out as much as we can. And we don't want them tripping over one single thing. We, sure. I want them to have all the space they can have. So we want to make it as easy for them as possible. So here we go. Adventure time. All right. Slides in. We have everything just filling the alleyway here and we are ready to head off to the storage unit. back up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got a Michigan <laughs> storage. That's funny, like Grand Design is literally on the border of Michigan. Yeah. J28. Look how big this is. <laughs> it's a house. 
If it was tall enough, we could put the whole RV in here. It's not tall. We're just gonna like stack them on the Well, it's tall, but this is not tall. All right, uh, what do you think? We got enough room in here? Actually, you know what? I think it's gonna look like a lot of stuff. Once uh, we empty the bed of the truck, all this crap, the storage we're do is. The back storage. We have to do under our bed. <laughs> we're making faces. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Quick, okay. We have a lot to do. We gotta get everything out. We need to take the RV back to Grand Design, drop it off, and then we have to go check into our hotel tonight. And it is eight o'clock. Ah. Let's do it. I'm tired already. <laughs> He's been working all day editing. All right, let's go. Actually, Lily, I'm gonna have you come in here. We're gonna take this, we're taking this table bracket off. Um, you just hold it right here to make sure it doesn't fall over as I loosen it. Well done, Travis. No wonder this thing doesn't move. Yeah, it's awesome. This is a major fail on my part for not using my impact wrench. <laughs> I'm not sure. Out of principle, I have to stop. This is what we have this for. Yep. Pause. Pausing. Did you find your precious? Unpause. This is why we buy tools. To use tools, Corey. Not to think about using tools. Use your tools. The sound you're going to hear is going to be. Just. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. The future. Okay. I just went time traveling. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? All right. I had a moment. The paint's probably just holding it on. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. We're going to give it a little tuck. <laughs> Okay, yep, the paint. Oh, wow, that's a lot of paint. If I just, like this. Why don't you put it in? <laughs> Science. Uh, <laughs> the flowers are peace, guarding boy. our floor, <laughs> just saying, we're so sorry. It's in remembrance. Okay, and if you're wondering why some stuff is painted, most stuff is not. It's because that right there, that took all the life out of this whole renovation project. Yep. That is the reason for all this garbage right there. It's actually the screw's fault. The screw's fault, but. They had to mess around with all this stuff, so we didn't want to paint everything just to have it get all scuffed up again. Not that they were going to do anything wrong, just it's inevitable. So yeah, it just happens. Renovation is on hold, obviously, and we'll pick it back up probably in May. Yes. A lot of stuff. I don't um, think it would be that much. We filled this thing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we didn't fill it, but there's still the bed of the truck is still full of, full of stuff we're that we're going to bring with us. But look at all this. Like it definitely looks like already. crap here, but <laughs> look at that. I mean, all the mattresses, <laughs> furniture. <laughs> look at all the stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Look at over Clothes, here. Over here, over here, over here. Canning. Canning. Look at all of it. Actually, go all the way in the back. Hold on. It's a maze. I don't know how far back I can get because I can't get behind the mattresses. So, all of our mattresses are here, and this is where we are. 
I mean, I made fun of us by getting a 10 by 30, but this made it pretty easy and the difference in price is not very much, but this yeah. is just all they had left. But this way we were able to just Walk dump it in. it in there. I guess it is a mini apartment, but. Yeah. But look in here, you gotta come in here. It feels so strange. Like. It actually echoes in here. It actually echoes in here. <laughs> look at all this. It's actually somewhat spacious. Anybody in the house right now is like, oh yeah, that looks really spacious. But when you're used to having like couches and dinettes and an ottoman right here, we got yeah. some room. This will be a good excuse to just freshen this whole thing up. We say it all the time. Anytime you have an excuse to just be able to clean things out and clean under stuff and wipe down things, it's always good. This is a good excuse for that. So we didn't do too bad. An hour and a half. Okay. We got here at eight o'clock and started at 9.30. I feel like the less stuff possible. they have to trip over to do their job, the better job they can do. If they're Absolutely. not moving stuff all over the place. like Totally. <sighs> so this was our step to help that process. You know what the next step is gonna be? Bringing donuts in the morning. Absolutely. S and house. Well, we gotta go drop this off and then we gotta go check into our hotel room and then we gotta come back to Grand Design in the morning. So when you work from the road and you do school from the road and you have to stay in a hotel for two weeks, it's obnoxious how much stuff we have to bring. You, well, everybody knows. You go someplace for two days and it's like, what? What like, do we need all this How are we bringing all this stuff? But We're two going weeks, for two weeks. It's a lot. Yeah. A lot of stuff. All right. Empty RV. <sighs> Bye stuff. Bye all of our stuff. This is bizarre. It's really strange. Not a fan. No. No. This is so weird being at a storage place. Kids. Yes. You did great. Where's Layla? Okay. Can't see Layla. She's back. See here. the smile. Thank you, kids. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you hungry? Yeah. What should we do? Pizza? McDonald's. McDonald's? Pizza. Pizza? Okay. Something. We're gonna do something. Food. And we're back. Hello again. Hey. That's so strange. That's so strange. But she'll be good as new when we get her back. Oh yeah. This is what Layla's the most excited about. She's like, I've always wanted to push one of the carts. <laughs> All right. Wait a second, I need to, okay. We were on the second floor. We're going to ride this, it's happening. <laughs> Let me get on my sweatshirt. It's for stuff, not you. Yeah, no. right, Lily just Stop. wants to ride up. Don't fail. It is good to be wrapping this day up. We're nowhere near wrapped up. It, we're wrapping, yeah. wrapping it up. The fact that the RV is settled, no, I just wanted the RV done and all of this stuff in storage and to not worry about that anymore. Layla's in the back already. <laughs> I'm like I'm almost embarrassed here. to like walk inside with all the stuff that we have. <laughs> Although the guy was like, wow, you're here for a long time. And I was like, yep, yep, we are. I told him this is in an RV and he goes, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it gets weirder. All right, it's not as bad as I it thought. It really doesn't look as bad as I had it in my head it was gonna yeah. look. Oh, I think this is worse. Layla. <laughs> Layla thinks it's worse. Alright, I gotta park the truck. <laughs> One step closer. Check out the shower. Okay. Yeah. Nice, right? All right. Yeah, and Thanks. way bigger than I was anticipating. Oh, oh you can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Dad. Look how big the fridge is. There's no freezer space, but it's a big fridge. There's no freezer? No, no freezer. 
But we can do stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can this prep is great. some stuff. All right. So we're in. Look at this. We've got a desk for schoolwork. We've got our own couch. We're good. This is going to be amazing for, for two weeks. Yeah. Lily? <laughs> Lily, are you done? Yeah. Okay. She's done for the day. I'm, uh, I'm just about done. All right. You guys did good. You guys did so good, my loves. Don't worry. So good. It'll load back into the RV actually faster. Are you sure about that? I'm thinking no. Definitely not. We need to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> okay, so after driving the RV without anything in it, it feels like there's nothing back there. I know. I don't remember it driving like that, even, even when we got it. Even when we first got it, I don't remember it driving like that. Well, so. there's no couch in it. There's no dinette <laughs> from the beginning. It might be lighter. It with might all be. the stuff we took out of there. We took all the mattresses out. Yeah. I mean, there's still a bunch of stuff in the cabinets and stuff, but she the, needs to go on a diet. The bed of the truck was also emptied. So yeah. like our really heavy stuff Did that's in the bed. Did you not get his... We need to go on a diet. Is that what you just said? No, I said you need to go on a diet. Hey! I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. No, no, no. You mean you to need to go on a diet. She needs to go on a diet. Meaning, meaning, meaning the camper. Okay, not, not mom. We need, okay. to, we need to get some... Well, when you <laughs> unload for, everything, you're for like... Thanks for sticking up for me, Lila. Yeah. <laughs> we knew we had Always to get rid of a bunch perch. of stuff, and we're going to Maine. And it's stuff I don't want to throw away, but... We're gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff a on our way to Maine. We just talked about this too. We did a 50 pound FOS challenge where we asked you guys to see if you could get rid of 50 pounds in your RV. And we've had people writing in and showing us they're like hundreds 200 of pounds, pounds yeah. that they've removed, which is what we found when we did our 50 yeah. pound challenge. So we have another pounds. 50 pound challenge coming up when we get to Maine. No, no, no. I'm gonna call it a 200 pound challenge nice. to start with. I like it. Let's up the ante. But here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're done. I'm done. <laughs> It's fit. Good night. Good night. This is what I've been waiting for, guys. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a, there's a viewing port? There's a viewing port. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my word. It has been like, an entire year since we've had Essen House donuts. Well, and we're we, very excited. We are, we don't, we're not going to eat all these ourselves. We're sharing. Yes. These are for our guys working on the rig today. We gotta treat him good. Let me see in that big box real quick. Oh my gosh. Holy right. cow. Look. Oh wow. <laughs> They're so good. Okay. So good. Okay. All right, now it's time to go. We're gonna go find some coffee. We're gonna give the guys their donuts. <gasps> the viewing oh, port though. The viewing port. <laughs> That's genius. Every donut shop should have a viewing port. <laughs> 